All right, welcome to Machines More. So we'll be visiting with AMD at CES 2025 shortly, but I just wanted to get this info out there since uh, embargo just lifted. Of interest to the regular viewers of our channel here, so more of our desktop uh, DIY PC focused audience here. First off, uh, two new desktop Ryzen 9000 CPUs. Uh, these are gonna be your 9900X 3D and the 9950X 3D. So the 12 core and 16 core X3D really counterparts to the 9900X and 9950X respectively. Uh, specs I have so far, 16 cores on the 9950X3D, really, 12 cores on the 9900X3D. Really. And that's not surprising since this mirrors the Ryzen 7000 setup. Got 144 megabytes total cache for the uh, 50X3D. Really. So that's essentially gonna be the 9950X plus a 64 megabyte 3D vCache die in one of the chiplets. 16 megabytes L2 plus 32 megabytes L3 for CCD1 plus 32 megabytes L3 for CCD2. Uh, essentially a 9800X 3D on one CCD plus one CCD from your regular 9950X, right? Um, similar setup with the 9900X 3D that is gonna have 12 megabytes of L2 as with the 9900X. So your total cache is smaller at 140 megabytes. The 9950X3 is going to clock in at a 5.7 gigahertz max boost, and that's usually going to be your single core boost, uh, same as the 9950X. 9900X3 is going to see a 5.5 gigahertz max boost. If you're just gaming, my expectation is, as with the 7800X3D, the 9800X3D will still remain the go-to. And since for workstation bills, you can already get either the 9800X or 9950X, uh, these two new SKUs are going to be targeted at that more niche, uh, both crowd. You have a serious workstation need and you want very little compromise for gaming. Of course, keeping in mind that the 9900X and 9950X are already very competent gaming CPUs. And that gaming bonus would just, you know, benefit titles at resolutions where that extra 64 megabytes of uh, Vcash would be of benefit. Uh, between these two, the 9950X 3D is going to make more sense positionally because it will uh, mostly match the 9800X 3D's gaming performance with the 9950X's 16 core prowess. And so that's, if you want the best of everything type of CPU, uh, irrespective of budget, that's the one, right? 9900X 3D positionally is going to be more odd. It's almost like you're saying, well, I don't really need the best workstation CPU. And I also don't really need the best gaming CPU. Uh, so, you know, what are you trying to get, right? Uh, because I would expect it to work a lot closer to a 9600X for gaming, just with 64 megabytes of bonus V cache. So it'd be interesting to see on pricing when that one is announced. 170 watts TDP on the 9950X3D and 120 watts TDP on the 9900X3D, same as their non-X3D counterparts. And with the 9800X3D, we saw some big thermal improvements with the V cache die positioning or repositioning. So uh, be interesting to see uh, when these uh, are ready for testing. Other news of interest is the new RDNA 4 GPUs. There's not too much detail on those yet. There's gonna be a 9070 and a 9070 XE. And so you might notice they've changed their naming convention. A lot of us expected this generation to be the RX 8000 series of GPUs because that's just a serial uh, progression, but they are now changing the leading number to match their CPU generation so that that would be 9000 in order to sync up with Ryzen 9000. And then the specific product number will now correspond to their competition, you know, uh, Team Green's convention. In other words, 9070 you can think of as a direct competitor to a 70 level card. So figure 5070. And with the XT designation, it's kind of like the 5070 Ti. So uh, again, not too much detail yet. Interesting that they are starting with the mid-range. I don't know, don't know if we'll actually even see a 9080 or 9090 even. So, uh, well, new CPUs and GPUs are slated to be available Q125. So there's still uh, plenty of time before these may be available and there's still time for them to get the details out. So we'll get you all the news as soon as it is available. So that's it for this update. We'll be sharing more from uh, CES Live when we check in with AMD shortly. So make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you on the road.